Dr. Mindy Hare, and on this video, I'm gonna actually walk you through a fasting protocol I've used to be able to help uh, and repair any gut problem you might have. I'm gonna show you what we know about fasting and gut repair, this is so important. What I wanna do in this video is walk you through how I actually use the science of this gut reset fast and I pair it to what I call a fasting protocol. So remember that as you fast, the longer you go, the more healing switches get turned on. So it's not like with intermittent fasting, you just start fasting and boof, you lose weight. There's actually more nuance to that. Many people, in fact, I had an incredible conversation with Megan Ramos on the Resetter podcast. She and Jason Fung really used the longer fast to be able to heal some of those really stubborn metabolic conditions. So what I want to do in this video is walk you through what I do to be able to pair fasting and a little bit of a longer fast with a certain food to be able to break. When you break your fast, we also are seeing, seeing a whole nother level of healing happening. So you've got healing in the length of the fast and you have healing in the breaking of the fast. And when you put those two together, you have what I call a fasting protocol. So that's what I'm gonna walk through here. So let's start with this idea, is that 24 hours of fasting, we start to see the microbiome on the inside of your gut begin to change. Now, this is super important because what I want you to realize is if you've been on birth control for years and years and years, or you are on multi have multiple uh, rounds of antibiotics, or maybe you have a lot of infections in your mouth, you've had teeth pulled and that those infections are draining into your gut, or maybe for years you just ate really bad and you know you need to repair your gut, this is the protocol you're gonna wanna do. So you want to throw a 24 hour fast because what we will see is those microbes will start to disperse and the healthy microbes, the good ones that make you um, amazing neurotransmitters and break down your hormones and regulate your blood sugar, they will start to grow. You know, we talk a lot in fasting about how when you get ketones, it's like fertilizer for the brain. Well, in this 24 hour fast, it's enough of a time period that those microbes start to grow and become more prolific in your gut. And these are the good ones. The, uh, at the same time, what's happening is the bad ones look around and they're like, hey, this is no longer a place I wanna hang out. There's an environment in here that's changing and the bad ones will start to break down and will get out of you. You might start to notice this as sometimes constipation. Sometimes people will notice have bouts of diarrhea as they throw this 24 hour fast at their body. And so know that it's because there's this environmental terrain change that's happening inside the gut that is so phenomenal. Now, at that 24 hour mark, what you wanna now do is you wanna break your fast with bone broth. Now my vegetarians, hold on for a second here. I'm gonna give you a little bit of, a, of another idea for you. But I really like bone broth because it has a nutrient in it called glycine. So glycine will start to repair a leaky gut. A leaky gut is the source of so many autoimmune problems, so many energy problems. So we, we have, you know, leaky gut kind of comes in and out of the health world and it really is an important concept because when you have a leaky gut, what's happening is your, the junction, they call it the tight cellular junctions, are, they're not tight and so what can happen is un eat, something as simple as undigested food can actually get in between these cells and it goes into your bloodstream and your body creates an inflammatory response. So stay with me here. Now we go into a 24 hour fast. We're getting rid of the bad bacteria. We're multiplying the good bacteria and we're repairing a leaky gut. And then we're following that up with bone broth where we put this glycine in there to create and totally tighten up those junctions. Now you have literally taken a gut 
that maybe has been traumatized by the modern world from things you didn't know were traumatizing it and hurting it. And in one day, one fast, now you've created an environment where you're, the foods you eat are going to be better absorbed. They're going to be better integrated into your body because you're changing the microbial profile in there and you've repaired that leaky gut. So the magic combo, I promise you, is throwing these 24-hour fasts at it and breaking the fast with bone broth so you get that glycine in there. Now, I know a lot of you are going to ask me, well, how much bone broth? So a, a cup is great. If you can do two cups, that's even better. And then maybe wait about a half an hour to an hour before you actually eat. Now, if you're vegetarian, it's a little bit harder. The best way to, the best version of, to repair that leaky gut is truly bone broth. Um, so if you don't have access to bone broth, you can always do like bone broth um, protein powder. I like Paleo Valleys. But for my vegetarians, you're, you can do fish collagen. Otherwise, there's not as good of a plant resource for glycine. So you might want to do some amino acids. Those will help that um, and just take a, like a perfect aminos in some water. That would be good to break it with. But ultimately, it is the bone broth that is the best way to pair that that 24 hour fast with bone broth. You want to know the foods that will support hormones? Guess what? I have them for you already. It's a free giveaway. Just click the link below and I'll send you a list of all the foods that support amazing hormonal health. As always, I hope that helps. And if you have, tell in the comments if fasting and using this style of protocol has helped your gut, put, tell your story in the comments so we can all learn from it. I hope that helps. Okay, where are my gals that are struggling with hormonal imbalance? Bloated, feeling like you're not making progress with weight loss? you need to add these foods in so that you can support better hormonal health. There is a lifestyle that estrogen wants you to live, and there is a lifestyle that progesterone wants you to live.